This video just covers numbers two and three on this page and uh, one of the numbers on the next page. It says, what are the four quantum numbers of the two electrons in the 2s orbital of chlorine? And uh, quantum numbers, remember, are the solutions to the Schrodinger equation. And we don't solve the Schrodinger equation, not in this course anyway, uh, but we should know that quantum numbers are solutions to the Schrodinger equation because the Schrodinger equation, uh, the solutions describe the positions and the orbitals uh, and the electrons in those orbitals. Um, so what are the four quantum numbers of the two electrons in the 2s orbital of chlorine? Well, uh, the 2s electrons are part of the noble gas core. Um, so let's see, so 2s, and so it would be 2s2 in part of that noble gas core. The number two is the principal quantum number, that's n, so n equals two for this. And for n equals two, L goes from zero to n minus one, which means that there is an L equals zero and an L equals one. Oh. Hold on, 2s. Yeah, oh yeah, thank you. Took me a second there. Because uh, it doesn't go to two, it goes, so n equals two, two minus one is one. That means these are the solutions for L. And L equals zero is always an S. So if we've got n equals two and L equals zero, that is the two S sublevel. And then two P would be the L equals one when n equals two. Um, we're not gonna do it, but we could also say n equals three here for the three s, l equals zero, and n equals three, l equals one. So, but that's, that's only two of the quantum numbers. We have, um, so in addition we have m sub l and m sub s, M sub L uh, goes from minus L to plus L. So specifically, when we're talking about the 2s electrons, that means it goes from minus zero to plus zero, which means it's just zero. And what the meaning of this is, is that uh, the number of ML values equals the number of orbitals in the sublevel. Number of orbitals in the sublevel. And so uh, the fact that there's one value means that there's one orbital. Each orbital can hold up to two electrons and those two electrons, I don't know why it does that, of uh, plus half and minus half for their principal quantum numbers. So what are the four quantum numbers of the two electrons in the 2s orbital of chlorine? Well, to summarize, for each of the two electrons, so uh, we would have uh, n equals two, l equals uh, zero, m sub l equals zero as well. And those three quantum numbers are the same for both electrons. And then we'd have ms equals minus half and ms equals plus half for the fourth quantum number. And the solutions to the Schrodinger's equation, the way they work is that every electron must have its own set of quantum numbers with at least one different from all other electrons. These two electrons have three quantum numbers that are the same and one quantum number that, are, that is different, okay? Now, uh, what are the four quantum numbers of the two electrons in one of the two p orbitals of chlorine? Let's do this one as well, uh, of course. So two electrons in one of the two p, okay. So 
It's just as one of the 2p orbitals. We know there's 2px, 2pz, and 2py. Not sure why I did that out of order. Um, and, uh, okay, so first off, n equals 2 for all of these. You can see the 2 right there in front. Then we have up here L equals 0 to n minus 1. When L equals 1, that's the P or P sublevel. Level. And within uh, P sublevel, M sub L equals uh, minus 1, 0, and either plus 1 or 1. That means there are three orbitals. We know that because they're 2px, 2py, and 2pz. These three orbitals are indistinguishable. Hopefully that's spelled right. They're indistinguishable, meaning that uh, we cannot tell one from the other. So we cannot tell which one we've got. So in one of the 2p orbitals of chlorine. So I would say all of these are possible answers. We're not sure which one is the correct answer. Um, not sure which, which is a strange answer, I know, but that's that's where we are. Uh, two electrons in one of the 2p, so, um, now coming back to, uh, oh, we're in 3P. So yes, 2P does have six electrons in it. I think that's why I chose this. So it could be any of these. Uh, and then because there's two electrons in an orbital, we know that they will each have the M sub S equals plus half minus half. Um, now, if we only had one electron, we wouldn't know which one it is, whether it's plus half or minus half, there would be choices there. So let's see if we can summarize. So we know that N equals two. We know that L equals one. We know that M sub L for, right, we didn't say which of the two Ps. And even if we did, we still can't tell which, which one it is um, unless we actually are on the axis. And I won't ask that question. So M sub L could be, plus one, minus one, or zero. And M sub S will be minus half uh, for one of the electrons, and M sub S will be plus half for the other electron. That is the best answer we can give for this one. Um, and now let's do the four quantum numbers for the two electrons in one of the three p orbitals of potassium. Well, in order to do that, I am going to have to go ahead and write the ground state electron configuration at least for uh, potassium. So potassium is K. It is element number 19. It has 19 electrons. Those would be, so 3p, yeah, let's write it all out. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. This is according to the shape of the periodic table. This is the correct answer. There is nothing in 3d. And uh, as we will see, or as we have seen, uh, 4s is lower in energy for the potassium atom than 3d. But we're doing two electrons in one of the three p orbitals of potassium. Very similar to the last question, except for now, n equals 3. Uh, L equals 0 uh, to n minus 1, so 0 to 2. That's just a 2 with a dot that I messed up. And since L is 0 to 2, so uh, L equals 0 is the 3s, L equals 1 is the 3p, and L equals 2 is the 3d sublevel. We're working with this one here. M sub L, oh, and I'm sort of doing my work for this one down here, up here now, 
lots of space uh, since I'm not doing the orbital energy diagram right now. M sub L again can be minus one, zero, or plus one. And I'm just gonna write, could be any. And M sub S equals minus half for one of the electrons. M sub S equals plus half for the other electron. And that is how you do some examples of figuring out the quantum numbers for specific electrons in atoms.